the new generation TAC Pack and TAC Troll with TAC Link offer a number of powerful enhancements. Automated switching from standard to exponential notation. Recognition of reversal in target direction with interpretation as a negative speed. Remote programming. Database management allowing startup from stored parameters, archiving, and data mining. Analog output calibration. Plotting functions. TACTROL, TACTROL Plus, and TACLINK all allow programming either at the installation or off-site. The verify and diagnostic features enable debugging prior to committing to the first live run. The front panels on the TACTROL and TACTROL Plus have the same configuration and operate identically. Each front panel is equipped with an LCD graphics display, up, down, left, right navigation keys, an enter key, and two function keys. The TACTROL main display screen serves as the visual information center. Along the top edge, the available digital and relay outputs are displayed. D1, D2, R1, and R2, as well as alarm status for each. Alarm status is shown as a highlighted box around the appropriate alarm designator. In the upper right corner, a T or C is displayed to indicate if the instrument is in the tachometer or counter mode. In the center section of the screen, the user can configure the instrument to display either one or both input frequency channels, a frequency channel and the mathematical result of an equation, or any combination. Just below, the user can define a set of units for the active channels being displayed above. In this instance, A is RPM and B is frequency. On the lowest line, menu is assigned to F1 and security to F2. These function assignments change as the user navigates through the menus. F1 menu allows entry into the change menu area. Submenus allow configuration of user defined constants in the tachometer mode, counter mode, verify function, and diagnostics function. Once in those submenus, F1 allows the user to navigate back to the main display screen. F2 allows entry into the security area. From here, the user can reset an alarm, set alarm hold off, lock unlock the keypad, set the display address, or change the security code. F2 also allows the user to access the next screen in a series of screens. The up, down, left, right arrow keys are used to navigate to menu selections above and below your current position. The up, down arrows are also used to change a user-defined constant. The left, right arrows are used to navigate over to a user-defined constant within the same line. Arrow keys also have the numbers 1 through 4 associated with them. They are used to configure and enter the security code. Navigating menus and changing constants. The following demonstration will show how simple it is to use the TACTROL panel to set up the tachometer. Detailed instructions for all functions are covered in the manual provided on this CD-ROM. Let's set the Digital 1 output setting. Press F1 function key to list the change menus. Press Enter to select Change TAC. Use the down arrow to move to Digital Output 1 and press Enter. Digital Output 1 setup menu is displayed. Select Input Source by pressing Enter to toggle through the options of Input A, Equation, B, or Off. Select A. Using the down arrow key, highlight Latch Mode. Latch Mode Off is indicated. Press Enter to change to Latch Mode On. Press the down arrow key to move to On Delay. Press Enter to allow delay setting. Let's set the delay to 2.5 seconds from zero. Use the right arrow to move to the second digit. Use the up arrow to increase from zero to two. Use the right arrow to move to the decimal digit. Use the up arrow to increase from zero to five. Press Enter to accept. Next, using the down arrow, move to off delay. We can set this parameter by repeating the procedure, but we will leave this set at zero. Press the down arrow to highlight output switching. Press Enter. Select Energize Above by pressing Enter. The switching range information is displayed and safe set point is highlighted. 
Press Enter to make active for change. Using the up-down arrows, we will change the set point to be plus 4,000. Use the right arrow to accept the plus sign and move to the first digit. Using the up-down arrow, input 4. Move through the remaining zero digits and assure exponent is set to 3. Press Enter to accept. Press the right arrow to move to alarm set point. Using the same procedure, set the first digit to 4 and the decimal digit to 5. Press Enter to accept. Press F1 to return to the setup menu. Press F1 multiple times to return to higher menus until unit displays changes have been made to system parameters. Save the changes, yes or no. With yes highlighted, press Enter to save the changes. Regardless of where changes are made, a remote display, tactrol, or TacLink, all global system constants and changes are saved in the tachometer instrument. Changes have not been made unless you are asked if you wish to save them and yes is selected. When speed exceeds set point, alarm D1 is triggered. To change or set the counter settings or to enter the verify or diagnostics menus at the main screen, press F1 to re-enter the first level of menus. Change counter is identical to change tack, with the exception of a few constants specific to each function. To navigate to verify, press the down arrow. Press enter to view the available user-defined constants. Verify allows the user to configure set points and outputs, then apply a simulation of the expected speeds or counts to the instrument to see how each will react. When changes are complete, Press F1, Main, to exit the main screen. To enter Diagnostics, press F1 to re-enter the first level of menus. Press the down arrow to navigate to Diagnostics. Press Enter to view a...